Man, you been gone for a long motherfucking time. Man, I ain't gonna shoot that movie with Eddie Murphy, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to go see you that too, movie. Bro. You Let's too, go. You too. What you mean, you too? You too. You too. Hey. I see how it is. I tried to get you. I see how it I is. I called you. We used to go to the phone. I see how it is. I was calling you while this nigga was walking off. I was like, no, so you missed this shit. Oh, <laughs> he used to go to the phone. Uh, I called him. So now I ain't calling you. But I called you. Okay. No, no he can't. He, right. he, he, he called him. Okay. I want to say it's secret say you so bad, get... but I can't see it. All right, baby. What's secret? Oh, don't say it. Don't, don't say, say it. Don't, don't say it. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Bro. Don't say it. Bro, that industry shit so funny. It ain't a secret, but it like movie tactics. Mm-hmm. But then if I see it, y'all would be like looking for it. And me gonna be like, oh hell no, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'ma see if we can all get it. Okay, bet. <laughs> you don't just leave that shit right there. No, nah, but see if I see it, motherfucker gonna be like, hell no. Nah. See, that's the cliffhanger in the shit. I know. They gonna make me go watch the movie. I want them to find out for themselves. That's a hell of a way to promote that shit. <laughs> now every time you do an interview about it, it'll be like, I want to see it, but I ain't going to see it. Ain't and then, see it. Yeah. And he gonna be like, I got to see it. He talking about Exactly. <laughs> no, I had to go see that shit with him photo. That shit was beautiful. That shit was smooth. Yeah, you Shout out to Eddie Murphy, man. He a real. He got to be. I was starstruck. I got to. That shit crazy. Like, you got starstruck when you see it? I don't be knowing when I'm going to get starstruck. Oh, that's my second time I got starstruck. I got starstruck with AI. Okay. And then when I seen Ed, I literally stopped, like, me and Travis, I was like, oh, shit, that ain't even go. And I was just watching. I was like, what the fuck you finna do? I just watched him the whole little time he was on set. And I was there. I had to snap out this shit. Then when he seen me, he actually did the little finger shit. He like, you DC? I said, nigga, you really do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, though. He was like, man, you funny, man. That's hard. I said, bad. I said, no more. That's how nah. you know. Gotta stay in there. You gotta stay in there. Gotta stay in there. Gotta stay prayed up, stay working, y'all. That's what, exactly what I'm talking about, bro, because we got a very special guest. Uh huh, talk to you. Come on, man. A very special guest. What, 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 what going on, man? Come on, so man. A very special guest is amongst us today. Come on. In the trap living room. Oh, Come shit, on. now. I'm talking about one of the coldest, one of the hardest young niggas out of Memphis. Come on, man. I'm talking about the nigga got his whole goddamn. Tour, damn near sold out, and the shit ain't even started yet. Oh, oh man. man, I'm talking uh, about. According to this man right here, uh -huh. got the number one record in the motherfucking world with no, no features. features. With no uh -huh. features. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna say the other shit he said, cause that's the that's, shit he said. That's the shit he said. I let him say his shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Brought some of the coldest niggas from Memphis who been talking shit since they walked in here. No cap. <laughs> Checking off these motherfucking dope, man. No this cap. shit feel like the family reunion with all your rich cousins. No cap. Yeah. It's all kind of diamonds and shit in here. <laughs> Smell like oil sheen and cocoa butter in this motherfucker. <laughs> That's why I'm smoking weed. <laughs> exactly. This is one of them moments right here, bro. It's dope as hell that he came Come out on. here to fuck with us, because he ain't one of them niggas that can do this shit a whole lot of times. I don't see him step out too much now. Nah. For real. No cap. Come on. No Without cap. further ado, man, no none cap. other than Memphis' is on. Who? Key Glock. Hey! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Talk out, talk out, G! Hey, 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 Welcome to the 85 South Show. Yeah, yeah. Fuck with it. Hell yeah, yeah. Fuck man. with it. Big shit going on right now. Right up. Hell yeah, yeah. How you feel about it? Ready to turn up. I'm ready to turn up. Shit, you doing it? I know, but I'm ready to turn up some more. Facts. <laughs> you been doing Facts. it. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Taking over the motherfucking world one song at a time, huh? One tape at a time. One tape at a time. So, hell yeah, yeah. So how many tap and tapes you see right now that make it? It's my six solo tape. Sick. Consistent. Yeah. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Man, no, I got features. Pop it. No features. No features. Nope. And that's rare. Mm. Nowadays. Even, even the last Niggas one. rely on the features with, with, nowadays. With, with, the, with all the, the yellow cars on there? Nobody. Nobody. Mm, that's rare. Nah, for sure. That's rare. That means street. What made you take that approach with it? When I came in the game early, nigga was trying to like hold their nuts on me, and, you know what I'm saying? You know, I guess just be industry niggas. They ain't know who, you know what I'm saying, what they were dealing with. So I, shit, I just, I just, I just took it, and took it and ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, just show nigga, I'm like shit, I really don't need you. Thanks. Like shit, I can do this shit on my way. I'm glad you didn't let that shit get to you, cause a lot of, nah, a lot of, motivated me, bro. A lot of artists, they yeah. just get mad. Yeah. 
And it made sure that your people fuck really. with you. Uh-huh. They not fucking with you because so-and-so on the shit. They fucking, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. They showing up for you every time. Yeah. That, that, that good that you use it for motivation because a lot of artists will get mad and be like, damn, why they don't want to fuck with me? And then they'll lose mm-hmm. the interest in the shit. But sometimes right. that shit got to motivate you be like, all right, I'm going to make it well. You, your people going to reach out to my people. Exactly. Facts. Even if they don't, you gonna see this shit. <laughs> you got no choice. You gonna see this shit. Yeah, yeah. Six, six <coughs> in, six mixtapes in, and it's like no features. How you keep yourself going with that? Cause that's a lot of rapping to do. Shit, stay out the way. Stay, you know what I'm saying? Stay out the mix. Stay yourself. And just, like shit, you can't go wrong when you always, you know what I'm saying? Focusing on yourself, trying to pro- uh, make yourself better. Shit. Yeah. Well, let's, let's take it. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. Where did the the passion come from? How did you get started, even just doing music? Really, it was when I was in, in high school. What? It really like my environment, like my fr- friends and family, like what? the feedback I was getting. It just really went to my head, and I just realized like shit, I really can do this shit. Then right. like they ain't just telling me this. But I ain't take it serious at first, but. It happened. That shit went crazy. It shit happened fast. <laughs> fast to hell. That means something in Memphis, too. Hell yeah. Memphis is a goddamn music ass city, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. A lot of times they put the light on Atlanta, and yeah, Atlanta been running for a minute, but I don't think Memphis, Memphis had been doing a, this shit for a, a long gap time. Where they ain't yeah, had somebody that Nice was on run the chart. right now. Yeah. It's still Great run. I yeah. mean, you know, it ain't, yeah, there ain't been no gap in it, really. Mm-hmm. Sure. Show sure it. That's one of my favorite cities to go to, bro. That, that shit just different. Cause just like, you know, yeah. motherfuckers was in here earlier, that's just how it be everywhere you go in Memphis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. how you know people <laughs> fuck with you when exactly. motherfuckers talk shit like that, man. Yeah. It just let you know that that's, love, that's just sure. like some selling shit, I guess. That's just nah, how we do each other, show love, man. Straight up. So, you were right there near that, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's right the right shit. Right, yeah. right down the street. Yeah, yeah. Right down the street. Fucking with it. That's always been one of my spots, though. So yeah, yeah. And when I go there now, they just show me so much love. You know, especially when we do our show there at 85 mm-hmm. so. I think that was one of the first shows that we ever sold out. For real, for real. Like, for the real, first big one. We one, one like, like, but we been fucking with y'all, boy. Listen to y'all on SoundCloud. I was like, nigga, you go back when you say SoundCloud. <laughs> he was like, boy, I forgot we had that shit over there. <laughs> it is. No cap. Wow. Oh. That's what's up, man. It's just, it's just good to see somebody, you know, an artist like yourself who really did the independent shit and made it work. Yeah, right. yeah. And you deserve to sell out all these yeah, tools. Yeah. And like you said, deserve everything is coming to you, man. Shit, right. you work for it. Yeah, yeah. No features. Yeah, Fuck yeah. everybody. That, that's one of the hard ones. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, just stay exactly motivated it through is. it all. Just staying motivated and just staying focused. Right. Keeping God first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, 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 you doing it. You doing it. Yeah. As, a, as somebody who's watching it and exactly. knowing it, like, yeah, yeah you, you definitely doing it. And you, and you keeping it up right, too. Mm-hmm. You so what you hitting with right. on this one? Say it again. On, the last, on this new tape, what you hitting with? What can they expect, I guess? Man, you really, you don't know what to expect. Yeah, I was just saying, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all over the place. <laughs> So Let this nigga do all the promotion, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, man, I wouldn't even drop no post. I just seen the nigga everywhere in America. Man, the motherfucker hard. Straight up. Straight up. No care. Everybody know, though. What, what, been, what was your favorite song since you've been, since you've been recording? Before I get to that, when did you know it was like, okay, this shit about to take off? It's over with. She when I... See. Probably when I did it. on my soul. That was like my first single. Mm-hmm. Like my first like actual single single like that. that nigga put money behind. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like right. Yeah. On my soul. That was like 2017. I yep. remember that too. Yeah. To a flight. For sure. That motherfucking music game here different, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, you see a lot of artists come and go in there. It seems like they build these big followers and they just disappear, man. Shit be crazy. You see, a lot of them don't know how to just stay consistent and just stay 
doing what is true to them. They, they so busy listening to social media and Follow trying to fit a, fit a fucking image when you, you are the image. You make them believe what the fuck, you the brand. You gotta make them believe that shit. They so busy worrying about coming. I just told somebody the other day, I was like, but social media really pussy. Hmm. I don't give a fuck about no comment. What about the people that love you, that been rocking with you since day one? You ain't still nothing no comment. And as soon as you look at one comment with a motherfucker, oh, I ain't want your music trash. Nigga, I <laughs> don't give a fuck. What you think? I'm only catering to the nothing. people that been fucking with me. <laughs> no, you ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit just reminded me. It was a nigga on the. I was live the other day. Nigga what? was talking. The nigga, it was this nigga that was talking shit on the nigga named Rob the Rapper. Rob the Rapper. I was like, nigga, you, you, I know you a terrible rapper. Nigga, you stole a nigga whole gimmick. God damn, for real. Then he got mad. He was like, man, I'm just bullshit. Nah, I don't give a fuck. Right. Oh, you got to argue with the nigga. I, I don't argue, nigga. I just, <laughs> it sees, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. if a nigga you say something, I'm just saying, if a nigga say something, I'm just saying, 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 I'm Nigga, fuck you, they, bitch. They motherfuckers <laughs> live oh, you know to do that, that shit. <laughs> they wasn't finna support no way. I ain't like, seen yeah. anything. I like seeing. Right. Post. But you can't let motherfuckers get ahead of themselves. <laughs> I mean, you gotta let them know that you, you, some, yeah, I get it. Sometimes no, you just catch a nigga in the mood. Nah, they fuck if I feel right, like it. Sometimes you yeah. just feel like being ignorant. Yeah, yeah. man, you caught me on one of them, like, like, nigga, I've been trying to be above this, but right now, <laughs> yeah. I got, I got a problem with that. <laughs> See, this nigga posted it twice, like, his Wi-Fi was fucked up, like, he ain't never posted it. <laughs> hey, oh, he so it was like, fuck you, fuck you. I was like, nigga, I seen the first all right, one. All right, all right, bitch. All right. <laughs> fuck you talking about? <laughs> See, you can't, then you respond, you arguing. See how that shit flip? I deleted it though. I let it, I let it sit for a minute, then I go and delete it. Wow. Man, my, my page got, my, they took my I monetization <laughs> for talking to the bitch at the airport because she ain't want to let me do the clear line and I put her on the shit. And See, I was like, You petty, petty. Hey, but the other. Oh, so you put your phone out? Yeah, you told her. Uh, no, she was trying to kick me out, bro. That's why you can't. She fly went. Jet she was the right clear now. lady. She, she worked for clear. She worked for clear. She, she tried to go tell the TSA people. She was like, "Hey, he jumped from that line." I was like, "Bitch, I'm sky priority and clear, you bitch. That line was taking too long." You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Bitch was I didn't say bitch. I ain't say bitch. I ain't say bitch. See? I was respectful. <laughs> See, that's what happened right there. You fucked up. You know you You know you I didn't say bitch. Look, I told how my mind worked, but I. Filter it before it come out. Oh, yeah. So man, she tried to tell the person, the TSA person looked at me, they knew me, and she was like, yeah, he needs to leave because he jumped live. And <laughs> she was like, you, you need to remove him. And the TSA a person was like, so? And then I was like, yeah, well, I told you, man. like, you know what I'm saying? So I went hopped to the other line, they let me through. So you the, been jumping lines all morning? Nigga, the airport people that shared the shit. The bitch jumped in my comments talking about, if you would have said who you was, maybe I would have let you I said, bitch, what that got to do with anything? But I'm pitched. <laughs> And then he she recorded the shit. Yeah, yeah, you the fucking like man. That's you why I say it. You, you I speak from experience, now. nigga. I do it when I have to. I ain't too big on this shit. I'm about to say. Shit. I'm, I'm they do got a little that extra shit on the motherfucker to wait on you and come get you. Oh, pick you up in the porch. Oh, I had it. Oh, yeah, they come pick you up. I sit there and wait. I be the last nigga on the plane. They be like, excuse me, Mr. Whitfield. I'm like, thank you. I've been waiting here for 10 fucking minutes. Nigga, the nigga got an all this. I'm like, hey, what a nigga with the green pants? That shit, I was like, hey, y'all, another person. Give me a big plan. I pay for me, but I ain't pay for my security. Fucking around the plane, you can't do private. Every time you get on that bitch's nose, won't stop bleeding till you get back on the ground. I paid for the extra shit for me, but not my security. He be like, what you want me to do? I want you to wait out there with the rest <laughs> Hey, you need to go get in line, motherfucker. You need to get in line. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> They come to pick me up, nigga. <laughs> I'll meet you at back and 
<laughs> hey, the funny thing about this shit is I know you ain't lying. Why I said a nigga about that way so fast? This nigga mm-hmm. here, this we're good. Bag I just said we're good. We got the car on the place. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. I'm feeling it. Leave me at the car on the place. Can they get the IP from here? <laughs> All the way over there. What? All right, this, this nigga here. leave you too. <laughs> All right. May 20th. What we going? Louisville, Kentucky. Man, to the who? The KFC Yum Center. We ain't got no KFC yet. But it's going to be at the Yum Center. Is it is Louisville it? or Louisville? It's Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, definitely Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. No cap. Lo- it's Louisville. Louisville. They nine in the back. I need, I need KFC Louisville. to bring us some chicken, bro. Is that close to the uh, Kentucky Derby? It's in Kentucky. I mean, but is it close to the day that we're going to be there? Hey, man, fuck all that. Bring me some bluegrass. For real. Is Bubba Johnson gonna be there? Bubba Johnson? Yeah. That nigga, Bubba Johnson ride horses? He the NASCAR. Can, can tell you I thought that was a car? No, nigga, that's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, come to the show. Come to the show a little bit. Bring a horse. Ignore what he said. Yeah. Ah! You can come. You know what I mean? That's a NASCAR girl? Yeah. I thought it could take it there with the car. No, that's. Ah! <laughs> that's the Daytona 500. Nigga, nigga. Come nigga. To the derby. Ain't nobody told me. That's why I won't take you no fucking well. Hey, man, get, get your tickets. May 20th, KFC Yum Center. Shit, take me to the horses then. <laughs> <laughs> you got that, yo. Yeah, you got that. Why I always thought a kid take a derby was a horse, I mean, with a car. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. All right. I'm Clayton English. And look, I know it's easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you. And you got to take a moment to think about what you need for yourself. But when we spend all our time giving, it can leave us feeling a little stretched out, burned out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85South today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85South. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85South. So if you tell me that you ride with me and we go somewhere, when we get there, you got to tell me again <laughs> that you still ride with me. You can't, because if, if we go somewhere and you don't tell me, I'm assuming this is where you was going. I'm not your ride. I'm you not your out. permanent ride. <laughs> You need to check in with me every time. Some so movement. You motherfucker ain't leaving with you. No. No. <laughs> we not. No. no. You <laughs> got it. Every time we make a, if we stop by the stove. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you was going back. You cut. You cut. Oh, you need to go back now. Oh, you was going. Oh, I thought. I thought you. You said you had to go to the stove. You ain't saying nothing. Not the stove. You didn't touch me. And tell me we still riding I'm not your ride all day. So you're not by yourself because you like to be. You by yourself because you need people. These are the rules that I put. Oh, <laughs> you man. go somewhere with somebody? Hey. Oh, shit. He like, did I? 
But they ain't tell me they were coming back. Hey, man. <laughs> I, I will find up. any reason to leave. Man, I got to go home and walk my goddamn fish. <laughs> be back. Hey, when Cam, he was had to run alongside that bus. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! He was deep. He bus. left you, Cam? Yeah, I left him <laughs> ten times. <laughs> He'll never tell me he ran with me. He said ten times. He waiting for the bus dropped him off. This sort of dropped him off. All we see is him running next to the bus, beating on that shit. Nick Cape said, "Oh, this this is the type of nigga I am. Like, if I say I'm leaving, it ain't in a few minutes. It ain't in a little bit. All right, no. No. I'm leaving right yeah. there. Right. Right. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm That's leaving I'm as I'm leaving. Yeah. Sure like I can't. I don't have time to say bye to everybody. I got to leave. See, that's why I had to get me a right call, then. Bro. Cause when yo, you got all. Oh, that's a bad feeling when you don't know where your ride just went." That's this why you, you be the man come and say, hey, what's up, bro? That shit right there. No, he, Nigga, you are subject hey, to anybody. Hey, 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 I got to quit. Your time ain't your own. I got to quit right here. You rather not have no car or no money in your pocket. Shit. No car. No, nah, money will get you a ride. A money will make a nigga with car with no gas in it. It'll be your chauffeur. <laughs> this I'd is rather hey. have, But if you <laughs> got a car, you can go get some money. Out of your car, take some you money. should. What are you doing? What are you doing? You ain't got shit to do. Well, that nigga just ride. When you don't have doing? no money. You need something to do tomorrow? There's always somebody with a car with no money. When you don't have no money, oh, ain't like, everywhere you want to go, money. Ain't got no money. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere you want to go when you ain't got no money. Far than a month. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, the store can be across the street, but that street look long than a month. Hell no. Uh, yeah, I'd rather right, you catch a rat. You're right. That money probably the best way to go up with a pipe <laughs> full of money. I done seen a nigga cut somebody out. Because you still need gas for the car. But that's what a nigga have a car and don't get nigga. Mm-hmm. I, nigga. Your show first. That's, that's why you wind up taking niggas crazy. I put some gas in your car. Look at the right. risk, though. I just want to drive. a fucking car with no money. You are one fuck up away from <laughs> having nothing. Let your car Somebody get tall. If you got a car, you can get some money. <laughs> Shit. No, yes, you can. He's all mine state. You should. Man, if you got a car. Go. You got to be driving everywhere they hiring it. <laughs> you okay. You just got to get that money. All right. All right. I don't got no money. The money, though. The money, you can get yeah. a car. This is scary shit, though. Right. You, you, you got a car, man. Right. Ain't shit wrong with it. Right. But the check engine light won't go off now. That shit just popped on. Now you don't have no money, and you don't know what the, what the fuck wrong. wrong with this car or when this bitch about to fuck up. See, coming from the hood, that really don't mean that. The check engine light, they be like, damn, I ain't going to be able to pass the mission. Yeah, niggas be waiting till that shit check fall Check engine light is the motherfucking <laughs> that clock. That right. motherfucker, come right. on. I don't care about that. Man, ain't nobody in Atlanta got no license no way, goddamn. And anybody who's ever had a <laughs> fucked up car know that your car can go from nice to fucked up in one second. Yeah. You make one turn to go in your driveway, and that bitch just keep on turning <laughs> and never turn the fuck back. I guess I always bought my car fucked up. Yeah, I had. You know, I knew nigga, this shit wasn't gonna last. I bought my car from a nigga who was on the run. <laughs> they pulled me over. They thought now I was you on the run. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I was young and stupid. The car was two hundred dollars, nigga. I was like, run. Yeah, cause it's cheaper. Right. <laughs> real good, ah, this motherfucker. Why you ain't gonna do that? Pretty much, all right. You know what I'm talking that's a real messy shit right there. Oh, man. I mean, hell. I was asking, why, what, what, what? I got pulled over, they thought it was me. The fact they thought you, I was a nigga who running from the police. The fact you was riding for three months, man, they wasn't doing it. <laughs> they wasn't even looking at it. I couldn't even believe I bought the car for $200, You should have known, man. Yeah, nigga. I was young. Ain't nobody put me up on gang. Nigga, 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 I swear the nigga got out of the car with ass. He was like, hey, yeah, shit, you want to come? I was like, hey, they nigga, give me two I was like, back. Black, what's the worst car you ever had? The nigga had a bloody T-shirt. The worst, uh, worst car you ever had. All right, here you go. All right, give the car for 20 dollars. Let me get you the gun. You want a gun, too? Them like, <laughs> right. remote control car, bro. You got to keep them bitches charged up. Even though you got to put gas in it, like, you can't just let it sit in your garage. Them motherfuckers will go dead. You got to call McLaren to come out to your house and reboot your car. Like, this shit extra here. But like, if you bought that car for $200, you want to do all that. No, but then they you took your ass to jail when they took that shit. It's different, bro. Like, this shit a headache. It, it, like, this shit really a headache. And cars, this shit a headache. Don't say, don't say that to him, because he going to look at you and be like, Damn. so what kind of cars you trying to sell? <laughs> <laughs> Not no shit you got to plug up. Right. Fuck that. They you ain't ready to go. You going to get in at your car? Hell no. They going to say that we ain't going to have no gas cars in the next 15 years. Man, they say that shit every 15 years. 
I don't believe it. Some shit till shit start happening. How, how they going to stop me from having a car? Like 20, 30. They got me fucked up, man. I remember when they lied and said Y2, Y2K was, everybody was finna fall out. As soon as 12 o'clock hit, no. Y2K. Yeah, year 2000. Motherfuckers was scared oh, that a motherfucker was gonna be when the year 2000 See, that's when I was graduating. <clears throat> yeah, I used, Man, that, I used that to get some pussy. 2000? Yeah, I'm old. I thought it was 2003. No, it was Y2K. Yeah, they tried to say it again, 2012, though. You ain't wrong. That was that calendar. It was Y2K2 then. No, that was the Mayan calendar. See, every year they try to scare us into believing that this shit a rap. They said 2023 going to be like that, too. Fuck this. What? They said 2023 going to be like that. Man, I don't give a fuck what they say, man. I'm telling you. Fuck them niggas, man. Ain't shit about to happen. He ain't never bought no car for 200 and oh. Even if it do happen, man, they still gonna be like, come on, y'all. Hey, oh, still gotta go to work. That bitch with him, that bitch with us, he ain't had no color. It was the, it was the, it was the ass and shit. Just the rust. Just the rust. Hey, man. Y'all put the, 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 the goddamn, what do you call this shit? The uh, dividend when you hit the button and the motherfucker, the uh, radio come out. What the, what the shit nigga was buying back in the day? Back in the I day. know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I forgot a different, some shit. I tapped that yeah, motherfucker, yeah. the whole DVD come out. They don't watch a DVD in my crown, bitch. $200, nigga, nigga. Yeah, you, you live. And you they allowed me to register the car, put insurance on the car. <laughs> Damn right. They want their money. <laughs> Use a car. You, it was your car. <laughs> I went up there to the check hand play. You know, check hand play, but you get car insurance. You ain't know that, you know. Tyler. Yeah, what? No, 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 Tyler. Don't fuck with Tyler. Take my shit. You got me fucked. See, that's the, see, that's the last resort for black people. Tyler. Tyler on the car. He threw that motherfucker. Man, that and dumb. the crazy part is when the people come get a nigga, be acting like he's sad in the motherfucker. Calling me, man. Back, man. Why? They got the car. As <laughs> soon as them folks leave, nigga be like, nigga, the transmission had just went out of that bitch last weekend. Fuck them people. And I'm up 1800. Yeah. My partner sold his title for like 22 on. I think he bought the car for like 15. I was like, what you gonna do? He like, man, them folks come get this bitch right, right now. now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah. See, that's the nigga famous lamb right there. Yeah. 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 Really need that hoe though. Need this bitch. All, <laughs> really your, all your plays is not on the block. Once they come get this bitch, you're back walking. Oh, you niggas don't be thinking about shit. She had one question. <laughs> one question, then these blunts then turn into a whole goddamn. It's a therapy session, bro. I ain't never tell you about I, I bought a stolen car. Yeah, he wasn't stolen. The boy was on the run. It's, you do be using the one car. I'm trying try, try to threaten the nigga, right? I called the nigga. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, nigga, why you ain't telling me you was on the run, nigga? Before don't pull me over, I took out all my little weed. You owe me. He talking about, nigga, oh, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> you bought that car for $200. <laughs> what you owe him? I can't do that for life. <laughs> Bro, one time we got pulled over and our white homeboy was driving. What? How the hell? Car full of niggas. We had went to a show. I let y'all go then. Hell yeah. I this it, this yeah. was the scariest <laughs> shit ever. Wow. The police came over to the motherfucking window. He said, sir, you been drinking tonight? This motherfucker looked right at the police and said, yes. No. I had about four beers. Police officer said, all right, <laughs> slow it down. Gave him his license back, and we was three niggas sitting in the car like, <laughs> how you do that? He said, yeah. <laughs> like, he said, yeah, I had about four beers. He said, four? He said, yeah, man, but I'm 6'4", 210 pounds, man. That's nothing for me. And the, and the white police officer was like, Slow it down. He looked in the car. He ain't asked for nobody else shit. Mm -hmm. I guess he thought he was doing some goddamn secret white man business or some shit. Right. He ain't even questioning it. Just a white dude with three niggas. Big white dude with three niggas. Yeah, see. that's crazy. Because we had to explain we going to a show. We trying all that shit. Hell yeah, yeah. And then everybody got to get out the car. He got to talk to the white dude separate first. No. You know how they do. I probably had some weed on the road. I done got pulled over on the road and had to explain myself so hard. I just showed them, like, look, bro, here go the contract. I just left a goddamn show. Like, they still trying to. Right, what? Like, what you doing with all this money? Like, we smell weed. Like, 
no, no, no. Welcome to Red and Shit, hell yeah. I literally had to go on the fucking email and show these folks a show contract. And then they hate when you write. Right. Right. Because they don't even know what the fuck going on. They got to come on back. They got to come on back. So they just, now they got questions, so they paid you this? Oh, yeah, For I your song. So, yeah. so, 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 so where can <laughs> I find your song? Bitch, yeah. you're not going to go look at my song. I'm going to pull it up in front of you. But my kids might know about it. All that old shit. Mind if we get a picture? That's why you got to keep a little bit. I don't want to be cool now. Mind if we get a picture? That's why you got to keep a little bit of that gas station weed. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. In Palestine. Columbus. It's Columbus. What was it? The Popeye's Theater? Oh, Palace. I thought it was the Palace and the Popeye's Theater. We going to the Palace Theater. Yep. May 21st. Not planned. Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Bow Wow gonna be there. Yeah, and we going to shopping at Eastland Mall. No cap. I'm, I'm going. A little bow. You just don't know. Me when you move so fast. I got the flow. I'm going to make all the money. Okay. Uh, I'm not uh, doing this, uh, bow. Uh, uh, you boys said, bow going to pull up for me. Same you you too. Hey, he going to pull up for me. All the way. <laughs> Get your tickets, Slim. May 21st. No cap. Ohio. 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 May 21st, no cap. Ohio, Palace Theater. You remember that nigga, you remember that nigga did this shit in the, in the camera? <laughs> 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 you my deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the way. Get the ticket. Hey, you know what it is? Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in the city. I'm doing a show at the Comedy Theater Underground. That's the Comedy Theater Atlanta Underground. That's not the one that's up, whatever. 800, 500, 85. You know what it is. The one I'm talking about is underground. I guess it's back open. New club. The shit look good from the flyers. I ain't been myself, but I'm about to go. And you need to pull up and you need to be in the building, man. I'm telling you right now. Come check me out, man. May 25th through the 28th. That's right, May 25th through the 28th. My son's birthday around that time, but I care so much about comedy and y'all, the fans, that I'm still doing the show because I don't want to be there for all them people and kids. I'm gonna pay for it, but I'm not gonna be there for all of them. Be there for some of them, but not all. Listen, come to the show, man. All right, else my son ain't gonna have no good birthday, all right? Do you want that on your spirit? Put that on your conscience. How about that? You wanna fuck up my son's birthday? He turning two. Our theme is too fast, too furious. I don't give a fuck about y'all. It's about this kid. <laughs> no, hey, May 25th through the 28th, Atlanta Comedy Theater, Underground, Atlanta, Georgia. I'll see you there. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And guess what? It's time. Period. It's time for the tour. And our first stop is Los Angeles, California. We ain't never had a show in LA. We've never been to LA. Y'all been asking, so we're there. June 17th at the Regent Theater. Listen, doors open at 7. When I tell y'all get there at 7 p.m., please get there at 7 p.m. because we starting at 8 o'clock on the dot and it's going down. And it's going to be a crazy show. We need all the Cali vibes. I can't wait. Oh, we got some Cali vibes coming. Y'all know we're going to have some special guests pull up. So one thing about a poor mind show, you're going to have the time of your life. So if you went to the tour last year and you had fun, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. June 17th, Regent Theater. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Be there. So get your tickets at poorminds.com. L.A., we're going to see y'all soon. Period. Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you got to keep a little bit of that gas smoke, station though. weed. Just yeah, leave it in the pack. I don't smoke in the car. I don't even ride smoke in the car. I do. I, 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 I keep it blunt. I got a ride to smoke in my car. I eat that shit. I'm sorry. They can't say that. They can't say that. I went in Brookhaven, because Brookhaven ain't Atlanta. Because, you know, Atlanta had just changed that law. So I knew I was straight. And I got the pistol in the car, all the extra shit in the car. He like, you got weed in the car? I'm like, yeah, man, go on. Yeah, I got something to talk to. So, yeah, run, run the serial number. Everything's smooth. All he right. got there, looked at the weed. All right. He said, what that is? I'm all like, nigga, I'm talking shit. Man, everybody fold around. This is all this trick. He this like, nigga, take. your ass better go to jail. I said, man, Atlanta. They, they got the little up on the 28 ground law. He said, nigga, you ain't in that line? Got it with the joint. We're in Brookhaven. Nah, but the joint legal. 
Yeah, it don't matter. They can't nah. be together. No, they ain't starting that joint. They ain't starting the, the, the scrap. Because in Miami, you can ride with the scrap. I that nigga worry about them four grams. That's what I'm saying. And he said, hey, yeah. son, you put in Brookhaven. Yeah. That two and eight grounds shit. You get outside that here. perimeter, nigga, it's different. Oh, I changed my, I changed my voice then. It's different. I'm like, well, excuse me. <laughs> I ain't know that, sir. I, I wouldn't have been trying y'all like that. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't even smoking in the car. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I feel you. I ain't shit in there. Ain't shit in there. It cost me $2,000. About. A what? Four grams of gas cost me $2,000 in Brooklyn. Boy, these prices are ridiculous out here, aren't they? They probably would have been the same if you had a whole ounce. Nigga, I ain't been in Brookhaven since. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. They be doing that little dumb shit for See, anything. Your first bro. mistake yeah. was you were somewhere named after a white woman. <laughs> your black <laughs> ass ain't supposed to be nowhere <laughs> called no fucking Brookhaven. <laughs> that just sound like where they about to do where niggas wrong. I don't know where Brookhaven that's Brookhaven is. Literally right. You legally fucked up like North being in Brookhaven. It's northeast type it's shit. Northeast. It's northeast, like right out the dip road. Oh, it's right over that way? Brookhaven, bro. That's why oh, I don't know. Well, well that's anything that's out there by cops. Yeah. Yeah. in Brookhaven. See? No, Follies ain't by it. Follies ain't. Oh, Delk? No. No, okay. not in Delk. It's in Brookhaven. Okay. It's Follies still gone. Low. No, it's no, gone. No, that shit's tight. Right Close out, yeah, cool. man. Uh, they caught them over in that snout pod and all that shit. For real? Yeah, they didn't yeah. catch them. <laughs> they just been there. I know. They just got some rap. They was just as soon as you walk in. They doing that. I'm like, hey, fuck, what the fuck? Yeah, but do that shit in the bathroom. Them bitches gotta be sneaky for you to catch them. Right, hell no. I'm like, where y'all old snow powder in the dope? Oh, y'all trying to get shit down. This shit is like, they like, yeah, they do powder out in the open. That shit was stinking, bro. Fathers had got bad, bro. You be everywhere you're supposed to be at. Yes, I do. I do. I'm supposed to be right where I need to be. But you, you talking. You had a show out there. I you did. had a spot I, out I, there. I hosted, I hosted it, a lot down of the street. shit out there. Yeah. Uh, so Probably you know hosted it. amateur night at damn near every strip club in Atlanta. That's Man. what I'm saying. You, how you judging people? That's what I'm saying. I know that there's some of that shit I shouldn't have been at. <laughs> What's your favorite strip club out here? Got to know you know what I ain't, I'm out the strip club loop for a minute. Oh, yeah. Even if it's closed or not? Yeah, or even if it's closed. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's closed. All time and, and current. Even if it's closed. I don't know, bro. I'm with a little. Mm. A little shut out? Nope. Oh, they little just little? open back up. I know, they be tripping. Yeah, I fold with a little. They be tripping. They don't be tripping. They be tripping with me. But shit, man. They don't be tripping with me. 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 Yeah, it's like just the folk like what who you? don't be knowing me, they be like, oh, Glock comes to the door, oh, Glock, Glock, oh, oh they, they finna men in black search him, nah, it's not what's they going on. Right, right. Yeah, right. Then my, my, my name alone be like. Oh, they got this shit twisted yeah, like right. that, yeah. okay. But they keep shutting down oh. and opening up though. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. They I not think that's, that's how you, they, that's some strip club shit. No, nah, nigga, playing. Sometimes ain't you gotta go down, down to come up. Magic <laughs> gonna be shut down to come up. Well, yeah, cause he, he, yeah, that shit ingrained in the That's city. That's why I ain't saying magic, magic, just magic, magic. You know, it's his own thing. Yeah, yeah. forever. Yeah, you gonna forever be there. That shit known as a good restaurant now, nigga. They don't got magic. Yeah, that shit got about four, five, four, five stars on Uber Eats. Down there go Monday. Yeah, they, they very consistent in there. What you wanna do? You wanna go Monday? Hey, don't tell yeah, me. I'm still busy. This Monday? I'm, I'm pulling up. I'm dead serious. I ain't fucking town. I'm dead serious. I, I, I go. Nigga, you tell me. Pull up. I'm pulling up. All right. I ain't been to the strip club. I'm going to sit much. All right, man. Hey, welcome Come back on. to the 85 South yeah. Show. Yeah. This is the yeah. yeah. man. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Everybody yeah. shout out to you, man. We done already went. We done already went, man. Already went nah. Right yeah. Second half of this show is sponsored in part by all the strippers who be stripping at the strip club while they stripping. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cause you know, them strippers been helping niggas through shit through this whole time. You know what I mean? And niggas got saved at the strip club. <laughs> How you gonna say that? Because strip strippers be talking to niggas. Sometimes a nigga just need to just have some titties in his face. <laughs> Whether she listening or not, he need to say this shit. Right. That shit like therapy for niggas who gotta go to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do be acting like they like a nigga though. <laughs> That's when the that best money part gone, about it. 
It's the best part. When that money go, you see the real in them bitches. That's Ooh, that I hate that shit. Yeah. I just be like, damn, that bitch did it again. Yeah. That bitch, I thought I was gonna get some fucking pussy. Now you supposed to go to the strip club and then go home and fuck your girl with her bonnet on, nigga. Wake her up and get some big t-shirt pussy. Hmm. <laughs> that shit so goddamn good. <laughs> that family union t-shirt. <laughs> shit, big ass. Damn, yeah. what? It's a yeah. long shirt, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah shit. Them titties look a little bit big under that big Man, t-shirt. Come on. They come by, pop out. That shirt <laughs> older than the motherfucker. You can see areola and everything through that goddamn shirt. <laughs> that pussy hit different. It do. But, but you know how you get them hold up? You gotta go in there, and you gotta get the ones, and you hold them. Yeah. And them hoes just start coming out like little roaches. They just be, yeah, they you be know inching on up. Like, hey, hey, that's no fault. Oh, they be inching on up. I'm like, lay down, lay down. Before you know it, all that dad, like 10 songs for free. I ain't throwing shit, bitch. Maybe 20. Yeah, they just be sitting there. What she gonna do tonight? I'm finna go home. For real. Yeah, you know dad, the whole hour, man. <laughs> I ain't playing that one song I like. What? Nah, I was just waiting for the right song. Right. Real right. talk. Right. right. <laughs> right. Uh-uh. I just keep it right mad. here. Strippers get mad if you don't like them. I don't give a fuck. The first one that come up to you ain't never the one you like. It's all. <laughs> ain't my bullshit. The first stripper that come up to you is not what you ain't. You were like, look, you can get the fuck out of my way. You is not what I came to see. You got an ass like SpongeBob SquarePants. Would you please, you not getting no money. <laughs> Look, me and don't no, none of my niggas like yo move. I ain't gonna do it. No, none of the niggas I came with even like me like, like you. Bro, you know? Hey, that bitch is training. Hey, I tell you what you can do. Go get us some water. Yeah, I fucked up. Don't nobody over here fuck with you. Uh-uh. Hey, run out hey. of fire, bro. Hey. <laughs> the first one is never the one, though. It is never your type. <laughs> it's it's nobody's type. Hey, let's see if you come Hey, if you a stripper and niggas ask you where the strippers at. <laughs> <laughs> If niggas ask you where the strippers at, and they ask you to clean up some shit, they spill. You see? <laughs> hey, bitch. These all the girls? <laughs> they need to be mopped up. Hey, sweetheart, no disrespect. Can you get the waitress for us? <laughs> hey, baby, hey, you, you gonna give me some water. <laughs> Take me some water. See, the oh, thing. Okay, how many y'all want? Hey, home? tell the girls we're ready. Tell the girls we're ready. Nah, yeah. like third of them hoes. Show ass out the way. I'm gonna give you some shit. I know you can't uh, care. Bring me 40 waters. <laughs> Bring us 88 Red Bulls. Bring us 88 Red Bulls and 100 Ice Cubes. <laughs> oh, God, I'm like, hey, look, it's wonderful. That nigga said her ass look like SpongeBob SquarePants. Run that shit to the Man, you know her ass be that had a little SpongeBob oh, ass. Man, like, uh-uh. it, it, it just got shot. It just got started. Oh, my like, goodness. You know you're booty hurt. Please started. get over here, away from over here. <laughs> Watch booty head ass girl. <laughs> but the first one always be ugly. Them always be looking like me. I be like, bitch, get out my face. She tell me, ooh, I don't like 85. I don't like. I need 80 waters and 100 ice cubes. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> Me and Stanley say shit. <laughs> Ask a stripper how old she is. She gonna act like she ain't heard oh. shit. You say, how old are you, huh? <laughs> they tell you they 45 right. for real. You be like, hey, this shit crazy. Hey, but I seen some old young ones in there. Like, you old, but ooh. them nights oh, aging. God. No cap. Perked out. I done seen one like 42. I'm like, perked out. You got yeah. kids? They're like, yeah, they go to they in high school. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid go to high school around the corner? My son, the bathroom man. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about the little young nigga that's in the bathroom. Don't want to keep thinking about his shit. Hey, man. He watching your ass. Man, my mama be tripping, man. <laughs> Them well, nights of age your ass, though, when you be working them nights as a stripper and shit, eating all that chicken wings. Nah, them bitches gotta go through all that smoke every night. 
They just know how to reveal themselves. They come through the smoke. You be like, oh, bitch, you need to go back through that smoke. <laughs> that no cap. Walk backwards, please. Strippers be having other jobs besides strippers, though. They are going there and dance all night and then go downstairs. No, they don't. <laughs> be coming back dressed like, where the hell are you going? Oh, I drive the ambulance in the daytime. You're like, what type of shit? They be having real jobs, man. Yeah, Secret know. identities that never even cross. I seen a lawyer, you mm. know? But I think she just like to dance, though. You haven't noticed that a lot of strippers, a lot of women. Like, bitch, you just like shaking your ass, bitch. Like, in Atlanta, a lot like, of them women, know. they start selling houses and shit. Big old fat asses. That's why everybody buying all the real estate up in here. What? Ain't nobody buying, fine no, ass ain't real nobody estate buying no house with no fat ass lady. <laughs> shit. I go, I go on a bunch of tours. Money. Yeah, I will this house. I go on hella tours. Well, I'll be like, come on. But I ain't buying this shit from you, bitch. <laughs> your ass fat. Your paperwork can't be together. <laughs> right? <laughs> she missing page 7 through 11. <laughs> okay, ready? We filming? Hey, nigga, hey, pop homie. your shit. Hey, hey, homie. Pop your shit. Nigga. Pop your shit, homie. Pop your shit, homie. Oh, homeless, pop, nigga. pop your shit, homie. Homeless, nigga. Yeah. Weird ass nigga. Real player. Real player. Let's Hold think. up, my nigga. You yes. being hella boosy right now. Hold up. Hey, nigga. Pop your shit, shit, homie. Hey, uh. nigga. You already know what it is. Nigga. Luke Luke don't be there. Throw that shit. Luke, Luke, come here. Throw that shit up. Pop your shit. Let me pop my piece for the wannabes. Yeah. Pop your shit. I might be there. I might not. Yes, enough. Show them your cookies. You brought with you. Hey, <laughs> nigga, look at this. Cookies, nigga. Hey, nigga, cookies. nigga got cookies as a carry on, nigga. <laughs> cookies got shake in the bottom. You ain't never had no chocolate chip shake, nigga. What day we going? Oh, mama's, nigga. June 4th. What fuck you talking about? Oakland Arena, nigga. Yeah, nigga. June 4th, three headed monster tour on Cephas. Nigga, on, nigga, hey. nigga on your baby, nigga. nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I ain't Hell never seen your baby. <laughs> Hella niggas, Hella nigga. Hella out there. Hella niggas already got their The bitches nigga. already out there, Hella, nigga. Hella bitches. Hella bitches, Hella nigga. Niggas. Not few, Hella but a hella. Hella. I ain't never seen hella. Nigga on the tail. It's gonna be oh, hella bitches. Oh, my mama, nigga. Oh, my mama. No cap. And two is not hella. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Get your tickets, nigga. June 4th, nigga. Yeah. Town business. Huh? What it is? Three headed monster tour. Eh. Show them the cookies. Cookies, nigga. Oh, my mama's crazy. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. I hope you're having a good day. Try some of these candles from my favorite candle brand, Good Day Scents Candle Company. They are black owned and have lots of different scents to choose from. Use my code L O U S, that's Los, and get 25% off your entire order or offer. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got scents like vanilla, pineapple sage, which is my favorite, Egyptian amber, all types of freaky shit like black love. You gotta go on there and check them out. So when you see these candles, just know that I'm having a good day. You know, these candles have been approved by everybody that we ever presented them to, from Snoop and even Beyonce posted these on the website. This one right here, I think. So go hit the website and grab you some of these candles. Okay, June the 3rd, we at the San Diego Civic Theater, 85 South Show, three-headed monster. That's me, Chico, DC. Ain't no telling who else might pull up. You pull up, we'll pull up, and we'll have San Diego looking like there's a lot of black people there. I mean, it's some, but it ain't a lot. But the way that it's going to be shot tonight, when we do it, it's going to be a lot because they all coming. So make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on us, please. San Diego could be lonely as hell if you don't know nobody, right? I had a lonely night in San Diego. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> my loan came back. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that shit probably a scam anyway, though. <laughs> you know you can't buy no goddamn house from Bottle Girls LLC. Right. Mm -hmm. She's selling houses, waist trainers, that little oil that grow your edges back. Sometimes motherfuckers be hustling too hard. They do. I be fucking with when they got boutiques. They be selling like a lot of like fake shit. <laughs> like, like that. I know. Cause I, mean, I be fucking with them, but I be like, you gotta stop selling it. They gonna come in here and lock you up. 
You would have snapped that shit, man. Because you got to pay taxes. I'm like, where you get baby love? What's up, bro? <laughs> I told you, man, dude fucked up, man. You like baby Lou of a <laughs> Man, tell him who you bring on tour with. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> I need to bring his ass yeah, yeah. on tour. <laughs> that nigga crazy, man. <laughs> How you never seen that baby Lou of a tour? Kenny Money. Uh, Shout out to Kenny Money. Uh, Y'all done fuck around and get high in this bitch. See? Look at him. Told you, man. <laughs> Something wrong with that nigga, man. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, man, got a whole lot of babies over time. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna be fucked up if she get knocked? Old girl who's selling that fake shit. Yeah, nah, cause I got the key to the store, so I'm gonna get all the baby Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it for I got a whole bunch of baby Louis Vuitton. How that shit going? What, the baby Louis Vuitton? You know what I'm saying? How her little, I'm saying before all this shit. I'm gonna be in there buying that shit. I be like, my child gonna look good at this. I be like, for real. You know it's a set. It's a set. <laughs> two for one. So when she you see this one, one. Oh. she got shoes and everything. Fake joy. I said I ain't never seen these shoes. When it came out, baby, no touch. I'm like the ever one with the long time. <laughs> Take this name. Fuck. Man, I was doing it. Oh, the girl with the watch machine hit me up the other day. She said, I see you in the 85 South. See, I told you I she said, was gonna see you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> he bummed motherfuckers again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bummed motherfucking girl and washing and dry. Yeah. He said, this nigga in love on, on some hood shit. Washing and dry. Yeah, yeah. She ain't already that one? No, I don't even be fucking with her. I watched the TV, but I ain't know that at the time. Yeah, you ain't even be fucking with her. See, he started caking when he bought the dryer, too. He should have just replaced the washing machine. He found out because she stank, though. No. No, she really don't. She really don't. I was always wondering why she was always washing her clothes elsewhere. But she was. She. I'm like, where you going? I said, I'm about to go wash my clothes again. See? She had like, like a wet, like a wet <laughs> field. Nah, like wet clothes field. Nah, she was fine. She just was like, she like, you know how you be on FaceTime and she kind of like showed her. I was trying to look for her, but she, she, had, the, she had it on the washing machine. And she was like, I can't believe this. I was like, what's wrong? She like, my washing machine went out. I was like, damn. So I ain't even offered to help her. Like right then, I was just like, damn. You feel what I'm saying? Like that fucked up. Then like a day later, and she was like, can you do me a favor? And I'm like, but I hope this bitch not ask me about to buy no washing machine. <laughs> She was like, can you even help me buy this washing machine? I was like, God damn! So you I bought like, the washing machine and the dryer, though? No, I was happy. The dryer worked. But she just wanted to upgrade her washing machine. But I was like, if your washing machine is bigger dryer. than your dryer, you gonna eventually need a dryer. And you finna break that dryer. <laughs> you gonna fit all the clothes in that dryer, so you gonna be just working hard. I thought like, you was about to say that it's cheaper to buy the set, because it is. So what you, yeah. you spend like that now? Hell nah, nigga, you know, guys, nigga. I wanna have a gun. Who? What you spend? Man, it's a, it's a spot on Bank, ain't got a bitch for like 175. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna be having them sitting there? You just bought her. Sitting outside. Oh no! That's I'm telling it, I'm telling my mama, we gonna pull it over with it right now. Well, um, hey, not just find that behind them sitting outside. <laughs> <laughs> had a wash and dry tape together. Please. Today only. When that beat done, when that beat done, you know when that beat hit the thing, I'm like, ah, and let it be a know that shit up. <laughs> Your shit still hanging? That shit old, that be, nigga. Man, be like, that shit old if it do that. Man, hey, baby. They played our song now. That hey, shit do do do. That shit be. 
I met nah, your clothes clean. For, for, for three months. Hey, man, DC <laughs> be getting all kind of ghetto ass shit, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, when you get money, man, you ain't got to go to no high-end store. You still go to Family Dollar. You can buy everything in that bitch. That's the definition of okay. Nigga about a washing machine. Still yeah. hood rich. I used to be in Family Dollar, couldn't buy nothing. Now I'm not going to Family Dollar, nigga, I can buy the store. <laughs> buy one. <laughs> No, that shit just feel good to know every aisle I can get this shit. Bro, when the last time you been in family dog? I went there yesterday. You tripping? You don't even want all that shit in there. I just be buying it just cause. Family dog is the number one most robbed store. I mean, you just gotta keep your shit on. Just people stealing shit. Nah, robbing. Robbing for money? Yeah. I mean, I see people stealing family dog all the time. Like, that's They ain't got too many workers. They got one nigga in the front, one nigga in the back. Niggas just be in their line. Man. That's how they make them. I just be walking by. I be like, yeah, let me see. Excuse me, bro. Y'all niggas stealing like a motherfucker. Let me go on the other aisle before they think I'm with y'all. <laughs> they make it so it's two people that work up. Yeah. What? I seen a nigga open a pack of tank tops and take one out and put it back. I said, bro, you might want to take the other one. Like, I'm not doing like just take one tank top. He took one tank top. I said, that might be your first time. <laughs> and I ain't gonna catch you, my boy. That nigga had a cone. I just need one. He's like, I just need one. <laughs> I'm like, take the other two, bro. Don't put them back. He like, nah, you want straight. one? I, said, I do want one. <laughs> do y'all still see that y'all still got it? Huh? Mm-hmm. What did you mean? Nah, uh, hell no. <laughs> I just heard I steal. never steal. I don't steal, me either. I never steal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I might steal is a lighter, but I don't okay. even know I steal it. Thank yeah, you know that's just because I'm used and to having it. Smoking, yeah. You ain't never put a snicker in your pocket? Huh? Nope. No. It's <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Well, Family Law ain't got nobody working in that bit. You can tell. <laughs> The people at the front know them folks be stealing. They like, I'm not gonna stop you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I might leave some shit at the bottom of the cart. You stealing them, my what the fuck? I'm trying to make it seem like you're stealing them. Well, stealing. first no, of all, they you're say stealing. something. He's talking about, I may leave it at the bottom. You're if stealing. they say so, if they say something, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, if you find the dollar shit. I win. <laughs> ain't supposed to be your permanent shit anyway. What you mean, though? Yeah. <laughs> like, the shit yeah. you buy from Family Dollar should not be the shit you yeah, use if you, if you buy all some, the time. If you buy some food from Family Dollar, you got to eat that shit right there. That night. Food. I don't think they sell food. Yeah, they do, but they, they got, got a little they meat got, and shit like back there, but that shit, you got to put that shit straight in the it's up. Family Dollar? It's something, listen, listen, when you go in, it's to the right. In the back. Food and, and with the dollar duck orange juice. Yes, bro. With they the dollar duck orange juice. Y'all, 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 y'all playing with it. No, they got nah, bread. They got egg They got bread. What would you tell us? They got hot dogs. They got food and family dollars. Hold up, watch that shit. Yes. They sell steak at Family Dollar, man. I ain't know nobody about no steak, though. Yeah, y'all got Yeah, but you better cook that bitch immediately, my nigga. Oh, shit, how y'all got to be trying to prank a nigga or something. No. They got food. Yeah, my boy, they just eating they whole got meals out of Family Dollar. I don't know about no steak, but they, they got food. They got Family Dollar. Yo. I, know, look, I know they got snacks. They got no. snacks, bro. They, they got steak at Family Dollar and like Family uh, food. And Dollar Tree. Refrigerated frozen food. I don't remember it's this. It's like three refrigerators. Hey, the best thing about this shit is you can actually go and see that. I ain't got them jumps in Memphis. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Don't okay. get caught stealing out of Family Dollar in my neighborhood. Don't think they're thinking that shit like, like, they like Dollar Tree sell. They got a little grocery store section in Dollar Tree now. I can't believe that shit. I'm dead shit. No cap. Yeah. You got oh, that I ain't shit there. I'm be the one to All the dollar stores got a little dollar food dollar section dollar in that motherfucking night. Cause they take EBT cards and all that shit. So how long they shit been like that? Because you know, some so states they got the law where they can't buy hot food. But check me, bro. I used to go so grocery shopping. So now everybody's selling frozen shit. shit. Yeah. I used to go grocery shopping. It's different when you go to Family Dollar and get some. Yeah. See how this shit done turned into economics? Nah, when you gotta go in there and actually get the food, though, my boy. See, I don't remember that. I was in there getting the food. I don't remember it. Nigga, we used to come in the house with them family dollar bag, but it's like they were grocery. <laughs> bro, don't listen to this nigga, bro. He had a life like they Forrest Gump. Like shit had to come out. <laughs> I'm sorry, God, I don't remember like, the family dollar bag. He gonna got... tell you all the fucked up shit in the world. Don't listen to this nigga. I didn't realize bro. I was fucked up until I got some money. I was like, damn, I was fucked up. Now people gonna be in the comments like, bro, they shit Please. all kind of shit. They used to play over my chips. Uh, I think this shit in certain cities. I'm like, but I don't know when I'm eating again. Man, speaking of them cities, man, look at, let me see what all you got on the tour schedule. Where you going, gang? 
Come on, man. I got the whole yeah, schedule well. right here. I got the ticket links and everything. Talk good talk. Myrtle Beach, Charlotte, mm-hmm. Raleigh, Greensboro, Philly, D.C. Ooh, I ain't never heard of this place. Maspeth, New York. Ah, Boston. It's going to be in Queens. Oh, okay. Queens. Okay. okay. Cincinnati. Talk it. Cleveland, Louisville, Kentucky, Naptown, Detroit, Chicago. All through there. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite city to go to? It's, uh, I think that's the first leg. That's the first leg. My first shit, probably. I ain't really got no favorite. I love going to Texas, though. Texas go crazy. Yeah, the whole Texas, the whole state, goddammit. All through Texas go hard. Yeah, yeah, the whole state. That's crazy. Congratulations on that shit, man. Okay. Okay. That, my boy, for sure. that tour life different, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You got, the, you got the set list together? I be changing that shit up every show. For real? I ain't even got no sets. Yeah. Yeah. For real? Every one. I, tell you, I, I you swear to God, while, the while I'm in the green room, I, I rearrange that shit before I go on the stage. So what, what's, the, what's the plan behind that? I don't know. I just be want to get different reactions off different songs. I just be want to Facts. Keep this shit free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yep. Try and shit, yep. You know you got a lot of shit when you could just switch oh, it up every sure. night. Yeah. Sure, yeah, I got to see it. I ain't switching my shit up for this shit. Ain't no switching up. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite song to perform? Like, you know for a fact, like, this the one that gives you chill. This the one that, like, you, you out. Ain't no other song gonna get you out like that one. Really? I don't know. You, you, gonna, you gonna see something, bro. I, I, I don't know. I'm telling you, you gonna see something. You're gonna be like, damn, that nigga said this shit too. Facts. <laughs> For sure. I'm June 10th. What we going on? Chesapeake Employers Insurance, Insurance Arena. Arena. Ah! Man, nigga must have just bought that. That I shit know, sound like a defect builder, man. man. Hell yeah. In Baltimore, yeah, and that's, that's in Baltimore, game, too. Man. That's on the Avenue. Insurance? Chesapeake Insurance. What else is it? Arena? Arena. Chesapeake Insurance. I left the word out, but. They got, they got three bins in one bill. Buy one ticket. <laughs> Buy two chicks. Buy how many? Shoes. And get some insurance while you're at it, cuz <laughs> y'all then ain't got no life insurance. Get a few chicks. A few tickets. And we're gonna be selling hot dogs. That's <laughs> how they say it. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs on the avenue. <laughs> you dig it? Once you buy a few tickets. Uh huh. you gonna get some hot dogs. And some insurance, and bitch. Some insurance. That's <laughs> a big insurance arena, Baltimore. Yes, June sir. 10th. I can't wait for Baltimore. Baltimore. Y'all see my boy Ja Morant in the club in Atlanta. Like I told you who he was. <laughs> Bruh, he doesn't care what y'all fit, what y'all think about him. He got messed up in them right or wrong. He said, I know where I could go, and the shit won't happen. It won't be frowned upon. Come to Atlanta. You're going to get celebrated. Now, he's featured on the Flyers. <laughs> he go from having a little mishap in Denver. OK, y'all didn't like when I did that? I'm going to go to Atlanta. Now I'm featured on the Flyers. You can, you can see Lil Baby Friday, and you can see John Morant Saturday. He was rapping NBA Youngboy. I told you. I know who these niggas listen to. That's why they move the way they move. LeBron, when he do his press conference and interviews, he more sophisticated, you know? He probably listen to Jay-Z, Nas, Fabulous. I, I, I give him Jeezy, Tip, you know, the, the newer music. They probably go back to the older music, but it still was like, they might talk that dope boy, but they still had an elegant way of throwing it on you. Yeah, a business sense. Like, they'll still get the money but they was doing, you know, dirty shit. NBA young boy, ain't no business. He killing soon as the beat drop. So John Morant don't care what, hey, yeah, I play cool in the press conference. John Morant, how you feel about, oh yeah, yeah, I, I was wrong. 
Soon as he got in his car, he cut that NBA young boy back on. Fuck him. And drove off. He in Atlanta the whole summer. You can forget it. I get, I get inspired when I see like people's careers are, are actually taking off and I see the response. Like when I see the video that's on your page and I see how the crowd be rocking and you be out there popping your shit, I just be like, yeah. That's, that's what that shit all about right there. Like, that, that's it right there. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta keep that shit going. That's dope, man. Fucked around and got to thinking about that shit. Now I'm thinking about all the shit they really do sell at Family Dollar. I was just thinking about how most of that shit they sell in there. What? It's like, it's almost good shit. What you mean almost? It do be good it, shit, Lopes. No, it like, it be right there. Like, the quality don't be there. Like, they'll sell you some speakers, but only one of them work. One of them don't be there. Yeah, yeah like, the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of everything. Yeah. yeah. Every, I mean, can those folks really be actually going in there? That shit be in the back. See, y'all don't know how Family Dollar work. They put one shit out like a display. And if you want it, they got to go to the back and get it. So when you go, so when people come in, they like, oh, man, they ain't got shit. No. Hey, where these towels at? Oh, we got to go to the back and get it. Say no more. I want two of these. Hey, this little cap gun. They in the back. I want three of these. They water gun. Nigga, when the summertime we hit, Family Dollar had all the water gun. The bazookas, the super soakers. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Hey, what? See, I remember that shit, but I don't remember no food. <laughs> you don't remember no food? See, you ain't go deep into it. You ain't walk around. Mm -hmm. You just went on, on the aisle that you wanted to go on. See, with me, I went on every aisle. <laughs> you in that motherfucker like, whoa. Hey, you know I that bitch every aisle? I'm like, okay, this on aisle number nine. All right. Like before, we, before I just knew about Target, I was in Walmart. Like Walmart. I used in Family Dollar, I was in Walmart. See, Walmart upper echelon, my boy. I don't know. See, we Everybody couldn't get in Walmart. Walmart since the late 80s. <laughs> Early 80s, really. <laughs> yeah. See, Walmart used to be, used to be that shit, bro. Used to be. It used so, to be. I'm telling you. It still is, though. No, it, it like even. I don't even see them. This ain't the no golden more. age of Walmart. <laughs> right. Yeah, they, they be outside the city. I'm talking about they be in the when motherfuckers right act like the prices actually was like deals. Now mm -hmm. it's like you kind of just expect Walmart. Walmart be coming crazy on some of their prices. They never used to do that. Facts. I remember when everything in Walmart was motherfucking right. It was like, nigga, you, like the deals used to be so good at Walmart, people used to think you was lying. <laughs> when you tell them, like, hey, I was at Walmart the other day, I bought 50 pairs of socks. For seven dollars, nigga, you bullshit. No, that was facts. <laughs> I used to stay over there like in the Walmart in that used trench. to look out. Mm -hmm. Walmart used to have some shit in the front that they knew everybody could afford. That's why they put that shit in, in the, the front, front. Yeah. and they used to make sure Around that it was mine because mm -hmm. they know you wasn't gonna fuck with it at first. But the longer you stand in line, yep. but the line moving. Around like, the holiday too. <laughs> put all the holiday shit in the front, in the entrance. Run over there and get them motherfucking Cheetos right quick for eight dollars. They Walmart used to know how to market this shit. Walmart, Walmart was the first person I knew they had secret shoppers. Secret shoppers. Secret shoppers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you are. I know what you are. I know what you are. Yeah, I know what you are. I'm like, you know what? Let me put this shit down. I can't think about it. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, nigga, you trying to buy a fish too, nigga? Get the fuck <laughs> on, man. Still going oh, where I go. <laughs> See, we, we, we used to wait till Black Friday weekend when there was 100 motherfuckers in there. Mm -mm. That shit gonna be gone, Yeah, they couldn't bro. even focus. All right. That shit gonna be gone. Yeah, it's gonna be gone because they took it. I knew it. This is my little nigga me. I said, I, you know what? I'm finna go over here by the tie section. Black Friday is a setup. Why well, this nigga don't want no ties? They want you to go shopping on Black Friday so you can come buy shit that you already have. Yep, they too. Yeah. It's only deals on shit that they know you already got. I feel like they call it Black Friday because they, they know black people gonna come out. They can't call it White Friday. You don't know why they call it Black Friday? <laughs> That's the Friday that white people come to the store and act like black folks. <laughs> you fighting, acting a goddamn fool, cussing each other out, fighting all in the goddamn parking lot, knocking shit over. Total chaos. That's the only reason why? Black people show up at 9, 30, 10 o'clock, buy all the shit they put back. <laughs> Ain't nobody finna be standing in line for no fucking toaster. Right. 
that layaway line be long hell too. I ain't never been back there, bro. You ain't never been back there? The layaway line. What do you be like back there for, nigga? Who, nigga? Layaway, that's nigga. some old people shit. We done laid, we done laid a lot of shit in layaway and they ain't never went to go get it. You grew up with old people, though. That's, that's, that's yeah, my grandma used to have shit on layaway. Yeah, that layaway oh, shit. Stayed on layaway. We gonna come back and get it. When? Right. Why we can't take Why it? Why we can't get it now? You so out of grape ball. I'm like, the fuck? It's gonna be out of style. They gonna say this shit if you don't come back and get it. She gonna be old, man. It's really, you put a $30 hole man, for I'm 10 days. This is crazy. Man, when I think shit. about it, I think Foot Locker and them used to do that shit. You that little way shit? The yeah. shoes on little way. Yeah. It's crazy. Yup. That's the grown folks Bro, version of saving shit. up. Damn. That's some old shit. I had Fila, 289 station, me, my boy. You used to wear Fila? No cap. Damn. That, that, that shit real big in Atlanta, wasn't Hey, yeah, that shit was big in Memphis, wasn't I'm telling you, 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 I'm in the but early still, 90s, niggas they, 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 they in Memphis, bro. They, they wasn't on it like how y'all was. Oh, well, we what yeah. you see, Fabo? I know. Grab the motherfucker. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go stupid in the Y'all really made the shit pop. That made the shit pop. Reebok class. Reebok, nigga. Yeah. You talking Soldier about two for 80, nigga. Didn't fuck with the soldier. We soldiers. talking about two for soldier 50, nigga. I hated that shit. The soldier going across the silver. Two for 50, nigga. Then they came back the next summer with the three for 89. God damn. Lord was, have mercy. That was a triple sale. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nigga, you can get one pair for $29.99. The low top in the high, in the mids was $39.99. What, the souls? You get two for $59.99. Where the price was? Three is for the motherfucking $89. i am talking about mm-hmm. nigga thought they was motherfucking rich, that summer came back. Cash money came out. Yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. thought they was motherfucking rich, that summer cash money came out. With. With them goddamn white tees and soldiers. Nigga, man, nigga would have had so any. Soldiers ain't nothing but some, some off brand Nigga like. really thought they was rich during that time. Yeah, I had my white ones on in the daytime. Yeah. Then I'm put the black ones on <laughs> at night. You <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> And then they fucked the game up when they came hard with the icy white bottoms. They should have never did that. Mm. Man, you couldn't stop niggas from taking pictures like this with them goddamn icy white bottoms on. <laughs> with the sharp goddamn bottom clear. Man, hell no. Z2. Man, niggas have a strange relationship with icy white bottom shoes. It don't matter what they are, nigga. Yeah. You're stupid. I'm telling you. I've, right? been, I've been alive through a whole lot of nigga shit. I told you you old, nigga. Yeah. I'm glad to be old. You know how many niggas mm-hmm. didn't make it? Sure. Shit. I'm supposed to be here. No cap. Nigga want to be there, that. Oh, hell yeah. That's why it'd be fun as hell to see all the people who don't know shit. It's like, oh, y'all young niggas got it. <laughs> oh, we had a time. Oh, your mama, ooh, boy, your mama, I was this close to being your daddy. Your mama, your grandmama was never at home. <laughs> I was fucking with your mama before the hood got to her. Just know that. <laughs> ask, uh, what yeah, you ask about before, who? before the hood got to her. Yeah. Ask about Bernard. Ask about Bernard. <laughs> I remember when we was in 10th grade, your mama was pregnant with you, and you got the nerve to be out here smoking a blunt. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember. It was see the pussy drought of my age was in the summer of '98. Uh-huh. Humongous pussy drought. Humongous, and why, we came back because everybody was pregnant already. Check. All the old niggas had fucked all the women that was my age. It was fucked up. <laughs> I had to wait. <laughs> I had to wait. <laughs> oh, it was it was cold. High I'm school was the no pussy drop. I'm telling you, high school was the strangest <laughs> shit. I don't know why yeah, they put I this. I Look at the shit. dynamic of this shit, high right? School fun, yeah. When you in the ninth grade, you too young to do shit. You go to school with niggas who driving every day, who picking your bitches up, who ain't never rode in a car by themselves before. If you think about it, that ain't that, that was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> But that's like, high school. Like, this nigga is 19, picking this bitch up in the 10th grade, and ain't nobody he, gonna say nothing. He's 18. 
She in the ninth grade. He picked up every morning and buying her sausage and biscuits. You, <laughs> nigga, you a finger fucking her in ninth grade. You was a shoe in for this pussy. Now you, it's just like all these niggas got jobs. You got lunch money. Mm. This is this mm-hmm. high school prepare you for real life, nigga. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I was fucking high school. Yeah. I was fucking. So you was getting by. Who? <laughs> you was, everybody was. I was, but this was a nice getting by, cause she was, she was, she was fun. So you, any pussy that you got in high school, you gonna appreciate it. But it was often. It don't matter. It That's like, why you thought it was a lot. It really was the same. Don't I know it's confused same. with same and lot. But I, I can, cause if I'm fucking a lot. Nope. Same pussy. I'm just fucking the same bitch. Yeah, exactly. A lot of niggas in high school won't get no pussy at all. See, that's why you I'm win in comparison. Zero coochie. Zero. I'm fucking this bitch every that's week. That's why you don't need to see when you in high school, pussy is like drugs. They don't tell you that though. If you fuck, cause a lot of people didn't make it in high school because they got strung out on pussy. Oh, now you going somewhere now. Where you, where you, where you going? Man, think of all the people that you know that dropped out of school and didn't do nothing but fuck. Now they got six, seven, eight, nine kids. All they wanted to do was fuck. <laughs> That's it. They're addicted to coochie, bro. Addicted. Strung out on the pussy. <laughs> man, that bitch got me fucked up, man. So, I don't so know. man, I'm going to yeah. tell you. Give me a little pussy. Man. Man. Bro, man. Bro. Give me a little pussy tie, man. Well, I'm, I, I think I got strung out. Some of this shit. Look how many empires <laughs> done fell behind some pussy. Just a little piece of pussy. Man, that nigga used to be the nigga. What happened? Pussy. Man. Pussy will get you every time. But if you fuck the same, Coochie. Nope. <laughs> That's what I'm trying you, to get you to understand. You, this Pussy just hell. like cigarettes. Just cause you loyal to the brand don't mean ain't shit gonna it's happen like to you. you gonna fuck it, 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 when you, that oh, no, was, was that a bar? Yeah, nigga like, right. whoop! That shit hit home, they were like, whoop! <laughs> He paying for pussy. Up, I don't want you to fall victim to it. He paying for pussy. You gotta, you gotta have just enough pussy to get you through life. Sometimes you mm-hmm. fuck around and get too much pussy. Right. Then that's when you start slipping. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I'm telling you, you, I done seen niggas hit that wall where it's just like, fuck it. You, it, you literally just fuck through life and just be like, man, I don't give a fuck. You know how much pussy I used to get. Well, why your shoes don't match? Because don't nobody care about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You will hit an emotional wall. You, see, you still get young and enthusiastic where you think like putting the patches and band-aids and pussy on everything that hurt is going to keep you immortal. You can't do that. Pussy going to betray you one day. Pussy just like, you ever seen the movie where a nigga go check their account and they go check the safe deposit box and everything gone? What the fuck happened? Right. Pussy done got everything and just left in the middle of the night. All your pussy accounts is closed. You, Keisha, hello? You married? Hey, hello? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello? This, hello? Long, this number is no longer in service. All your pussy accounts is closed. On? You don't know what happened. It's overnight. Yeah. All, everything's oh. been hacked. Leonardo DiCaprio done stole all the pussy and gone. It's, I done had one of them before. See? We had to start over. Meltdown. I didn't have a meltdown. A total meltdown. Nope. Like, Stock we'll, market crash. What I know. Let's go! <laughs> you bullshit. Out of here, buddy. See? Went up through there until Don't I found me some more. Don't do it. Measure that shit out. You gotta stop me getting pussy out 15. See? So I've been strung out. You've been strung out. You never gave yourself a chance. Kids. But it was the same. What do you call him? The boy, Young Jay. It was the same pussy. <laughs> <laughs> See? That was a Young Jackie. <laughs> it's never the same. I get it. But when you get older, you realize all coochies the same for real. It ain't. Shit. You nah. fucking lie. It's some pussy in there. And it's got another little thing in the back that grabbed it. I don't know. You, hey, any nigga know some of them pussies got a grabber back there. It's a fucking me. Man, you gonna, like, you gonna be you. a squirter. You gonna get wet. It's gonna be all right. Or it's gonna be dry. It's, it, whichever one on the totem pole. 
<laughs> and ain't gonna, ain't no coochie gonna go out and do no magic trick. Ooh, I don't give a I ain't no, I ain't no, uh, <laughs> I ain't no none of that. All that, hey, what's this grab, thing, grab, 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 ain't none of that. That's just, you hitting the wall, my boy. You just, eh, See? Eh. He almost no, there. No, they oh, no. She's squeezing. Almost there. She's squeezing. You better fall back off that pussy if you think all of them the same. No, I ain't saying all of them the same. It's going to fall on one of them plants. Hey, like, some of these pussies don't even make that. a nigga act the same. Where's going to fall at? No, nah, I'm saying what he said. All coochies ain't the same. It definitely ain't the same. It ain't the same. I'm saying it's going to either be a squirter. Some pussy, a girl can call you and say, I got a flat. I'm on 285, and you would say, man, don't call my phone with that goof ass shit. <laughs> all right, what, what? That's all right, that good no, pussy. Good. When the good pussy come, I got a flat. I know, I'm on the motherfucking way. <laughs> I seen you tap up when you was leaving. I tried to call you. I'm, 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 I'm already out here with the jack. <laughs> Lock the door. That's a squirrel. <laughs> All right, Coochie can't get you out the bed. You know why that bitch got a washing machine? <laughs> why? what we're doing we are now showing you just how important having the 85 south show app is because you was watching this show thinking oh they didn't finally put the shit back on youtube no. they was listening we weren't we weren't it's on the app it's on the app the rest of this listen the rest of the audio is on the app Now you gotta know what we Woo. said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on Apple it's just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Boy, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it, I know we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. It's Roku the most everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, so you know, it's eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free, what about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for Let's free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come year. invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Got read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure we hear you. We heard you. We hear you. We win and did. We'll That's just get the fuck on out your way. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it? I at? think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry we up. We should put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ads, ads, like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you <laughs> slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh. Go ahead and make sure. Channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like this? Deep thrust, huh? Go get it on the app. Yeah. That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. 
jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the we app. Got sport show. Yep. Show, Chico got a handwriting class that he teach. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it and you can see it on the app. It's they didn't, the e- app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No they don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, right. man. No we got the raw dishes, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. right. It's on the app. So if you want to see some shit that, you know, they trying to hide from you, right. go to the app. I'm leaving, though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. Eight fifty, eight ninety nine with tax, eighty five dollars a year. Channel eighty five dot com, eighty five South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really three dollars, but adjusted for inflation is eight nine. Yeah. Well, low C, get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. We work for free. We are going on out, baby. We are going on out. We on your way to fly. Oh, yeah.